Hey guys, it's me, Orange Berry. Have you ever wondered how to play Bruce like a pro or just wanted to be the strongest monkey in the zoo? Well, you have come to the right place. I'm about to teach you how to be a professional monkey player today. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is have the right items equipped on Bruce in order to do that massive banana damage onto your enemies. So the first item you're gonna use is jungle shoes. The second item is holy sandals. Now these two items are the most important items on Bruce. Nothing else is more important because you need that extra speed because Bruce is super slow. Your next item you could choose from is vampire teeth, bandages, five pheromones or muscles. Now, I know muscles and pheromones are s tier items and they are the ultimate items of Bruce, but a lot of people won't be able to obtain them. However, I'm gonna list for you right now three ways to get these items for free. One, you can wait for those crate events where you're allowed to open crates and get yourself some pheromones or some muscles, or you can compete in the event systems and you can get yourself into the top 5% by just playing the game. It's not that hard. You know, I know a lot of people that trophy drop. I don't agree with that, but you can trophy drop. But get into that top 5% if the weekly event allows you to get those items is perfect. And the next option is if you get those special ranked events, you can literally play those with your energy batteries. And if you get lucky, you can get yourself muscles or pheromones. Now, the next step on the road to being the strongest banana, you will have to have your points in the right weapon trade. So, for example, for spare, you're going to want to max range first, then you're going to max cooldown reduction. For bomb, you're going to max radius, then cooldown reduction. And simply for shock, Gun, range again then you're gonna max cooldown reduction cooldown reduction is important on Bruce as you want to go in as much times as possible because when your enemies are near the bushes or the water you go in and out just zoom straight in do damage and run out so the faster it comes out the better because he's very slow in the long drawn out matches especially when he's away from those parts and for spare you need the range because you need that extra gap closer because again he's super slow but that extra gap closer is sometimes just enough to do the damage you need to destroy your opponent now that we've covered the best items for Bruce and the way to put your weapon traits, now to become the ultimate bold banana Bruce, you're gonna need these tips to follow. Now it's simple tips. The first tip is you need, if you're playing solo matches, you definitely need to make sure you're close to bushes and water. Why? Because you need to rush out of those bushes and water, gain that extra speed and go and become this angry monkey and smash your opponent. You need to do ultimate banana damage. That's the best way to do it. Also, you need to know that if you're in solos, you need to be patient. Honestly, when I'm in solos and playing with Bruce, I try my best to keep myself close to a bush or water because especially if you can get that combination and boat because let me tell you right now bruce is slow like a snail okay the only way to keep him important is that you need to get that speed rage and come out and smash your opponent okay now for the second tip i'm going to teach you the super monkey smash basically you're going to click the spare and you're going to click the smash super quickly just like how you do with finn's super jump it's going to allow you to cover the extra distance and do some massive damage at the same time it's very useful to close small gaps or if you're rushing angrily with tip one out of the bushes and getting that extra speed with water you can do that to go extra distance and you just Boom, and destroy your enemies, especially when you shoot that shotgun. Now, if you're playing in teams, you need to get a defibrillator equipped. Another thing you need to understand is if you're playing Bruce in teams, you need to really be aware that you are now the gatekeeper. What that means is your whole job is to ensure you are gatekeeping for your allies. So basically, if somebody comes in, you're blocking their damage and taking it. Or you look for the right opportunity and you jump in, pull your enemies in and smash, allowing your teammates to go and destroy them. Now, if you have pheromone essence equipped in team play, Bruce is near unstoppable. You can go pull them in with your primal instinct, stun them and decimate them with your allies come converging onto those enemies. It's really good with Bruce. So make sure also with teams, again, you need to have the defibrillator equipped. That's good manners because there are a lot of people that do teams that do not have a defibrillator equipped. Let me tell you right now, that sucks. You really do need it in a lot of different circumstances. Now for tip four, it's the most important tip. You need to make sure have fun don't take this game too seriously don't take this game or any game too seriously honestly having fun is the best thing of any game the moment you take it too seriously you are not going to be the best banana Note that with Bruce, this is something just on a side note, that Bruce is by himself. He's a good character, but he sucks at a lot of different things. When he gets his primal instincts, he shoots up to an A-class character. Why? Because the primal instinct is necessary to pull in opponents. His normal smash just smashes in the ground, but with his primal instinct, it now pulls people in, allowing you to smash. And with pheromones coupled on that, you can stun them. But honestly, when you get the primal instinct on Bruce, then you can really take Bruce to a whole new level. Okay, guys, please leave a like on this video. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of Bruce. If you like Bruce or what's going on, do you want to be the best banana and i'll see you guys next time bye